Edmund's not coming back. Why did you do it? I don't know. I guess because sooner or later he would notice that my waistline was increasing and know that I was carrying a child. And it certainly doesn't take a Pulitzer Prize to know that Tad is going to be a daddy again. So just tell Edmund the truth. Have you seen Edmund lately? Yes. Why? He's engaged. He's happy. He's engaged to somebody. A woman that everybody loves, and I can't even hate her, even though I, I he, want to. He wants you. No, bro. he doesn't, Tom. He thinks he wants me. He would... He would be miserable with me. Well, because you're carrying Tad's child? He accepted Jamie, didn't he? He and Jamie hit it right off. Why wouldn't he accept Jamie's little brother or sister? Well, don't me. explain it. I know what I did is the right thing. I, I'm sure of it. Why don't you just call Edmund and tell him? I am not going to call Edmund because Tad dumped me. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life waiting for men to pick up the pieces. And this, this baby, I mean, you know, how could we ever start anything with things the way they are? Don't, don't think of Edmund as, as starting over. Think of him as, as coming home. I just don't feel that way. Well, you've got to give it time, huh? Oh, that's what Edmund said. Time. Looks, look what's happened in this past year of my life. I mean, nothing has made things any easier. My child's father comes back from the dead. I have a husband come and go. I'm still in a no-win situation with Edmund. What is going to make anything easier in time? Fighting about Jamie, a divorce, a new baby, what? Well, I think it's safe to say that no one else is going to be coming back from the dead anytime soon. Oh, lucky me. Got family and you've got friends here. We're not going anywhere. Yes, well, I can't count on anyone, Tom, except myself. Well, I sure wish you'd lean on somebody. If you can't deal with Edmund right now, then lean on me or Livia or Trevor. I can call Phoebe or Langley. You've been wonderful to me. I can't let you take care of me. All right, I'll be fine. If I just get away, I can make a home for myself. I can make a home for my. My family. Get away. I've decided. I'm leaving. Not permanently. Why not? This is your home. This is your life. Not a life I want anymore. I mean, there's, there's, uh, there's too many reminders here. There's too many sad memories. What about your job and your, your, your family? I, I, for one, would miss you. I'll miss you too. But it's the best, Tom. It really is. It's for the best. The best? The best for whom? For Jamie and for this new baby, just for everybody. What, what, what does Phoebe think about this? I haven't talked to her. Have you told anyone? You're the first. Well, let me be the first to break it to you. This is a huge mistake. Brooke, when does running away ever solve anything? Let's just call it the least painful choice. No, this is out of the blue. It's my New Year's resolution, all right? Isn't that the day that you're supposed to do this? Out with the old, in with the new. Please, I just wish that you would reconsider and, and give some thought to coming clean with Edmund and Ted. No, I don't want to do that. Edmund still loves you. You can go to him. It's not too late. Tell him. Why is it that everybody knows what I want better than I do? You told me yourself that it ripped your heart out to walk out on Edmund and stay faithful to Ted. Brooke, please, don't do this. Don't leave. You told me yourself that it ripped your heart out to walk out on Edmund and stay faithful to Ted. Brooke, please, don't do this. Don't leave.
worked your heart out to walk out on Edmund and stay faithful to Tad. Brooke, please, don't do this. Don't leave. I have to. Well, well then at least explain. I, tell Edmund that you are pregnant with Tad's child and that that's the reason you turned him down. I can't. Oh, Brooke, you and Edmund have the real thing. He loves you. Now, don't throw that away just because you're angry at Tad. Go to Edmund and tell him. The days of love conquers all are gone, Tom. Well, you could bring them back with Edmund. No. No, now it's just me and Jamie and baby makes three. I'm never losing my children. And that's why I have to get far away from here. As far away from Tad as I can. You'd be walking away from a lot more than just Tad. People here love you. I love them too. Look, what about your friends, your, your, your colleagues, your neighbors? You had them all up. You'd be walking away from half a Pine Valley. My babies are more important to me. I am never going to give them up. Do you honestly think that Ted is going to try to take your children? Yes, eventually. He'll get them. Brooke. Brooke, you are a wonderful mother. Ted is the reason your marriage broke up, because he cheated on you. I mean, the idea that he's going to be awarded full You know, custody... he signed a paper. He signed a paper that said he would never, ever sue for custody. I have it in writing. So? So he said that he would have it nullified. What does that say to you? That maybe he wants Jamie? And if he wants Jamie, then he's going to want this other baby, I, too? I, I'm sure that he's going to want very liberal visitation rights, but that's a far cry from total custody. I can't take that chance. I can't. I mean, I... I I'm so afraid. I just have this vision. I just... I keep seeing it in my head, you know? I I know exactly what Tad and Dixie have planned for me. Brooke, I really don't... No, picture me. this, all right? Picture this. This is a custody hearing, and, and the social worker has made surprise visits to our home. And, and Tad and Dixie, they have this wonderful dream home. Because Dixie stays home, and she cleans, and she cooks, and she does everything every day. She's there all day. And she bakes every day. And she doesn't have a microwave meal in her freezer, and she what? She makes puppet theaters, and she writes books for Junior, and they come to my house, and what? There's, there's dishes in the sink. And the only fresh food we have is if we go out to a restaurant, and I am this brain-fried, fresh career woman, and horrors, I hire people to look after my child. So, so you tell me, who gets custody of the children? Look, that is, that is an absolute worst-case scenario. You know that. Now, if you're not going to give up this gloom and doom, at least give equal time to the good things that could happen, all there right? There aren't any good things. You're so busy pushing the panic buttons, you can't even see them. Have you so much as talked to Tad about this? Do you think that he's going to tell me the truth? He was sleeping with Dixie for weeks, for months, and all the time he let me... He lets me have some hope. That is why I planned this baby, because Tad gave me hope. Maybe he thought there was some at the time. There wasn't any hope. Maybe... I take that back. I think maybe he hoped they wouldn't find out about the affair. But you know what? He goes after anything he wants. It doesn't matter. I've seen him do it. He's proved it. He's proved it. It doesn't matter to him what is in the way or who is in the way, and I am in the way. And he wants my children, and he is never, ever going to get them. Okay, say you're right. Say you've got a fight on your hands. Why do you have to face that fight alone? Why don't you face it with Edmund at your side? What am I supposed to do? 
wait around until Tad finds out that I'm pregnant, and then wait around until he comes and takes this baby as well? It's not going to happen tomorrow. I can't rely on that. It's not going to happen next week. He could find out. Brooke, how many months before you start showing? You've got time. You don't have to rush into this. He'll find out somehow. And when he does, if I'm still here, he'll try and talk me into marrying him. And I'm not going to let him talk me into anything. Into or out of anything or anyone ever again. If I have to put a continent between us, I will do that. I have never seen you run away from anything. You can call it whatever you like, Tom. It's not going to change my mind. Taking Jamie away, is, is that what's best for him? Is it? Look, Brooke, all I'm trying to say is this is no time for you to, to dump your friends and your family and to go solo. I know you're right. Here, if I have friends to help me, I could take it easy. I know that. I know if I leave Pine Valley, it's going to be more difficult yes. for everybody. If I stay, it'll be easier on me. And the children. And easier on Ted. And I, if I leave, it'll be hard on everybody. But especially on Ted. You want to hurt him? I want to hurt him as bad as he has hurt me. Uh, yes. By taking the children away is punishment. Punishment for whom, Brooke, don't you see? You would be standing on your own children just so that you could take a shot at Ted. Knowing that he will miss Jamie until it kills him makes me glad. I never thought I would see this. It's the only thing that does make me glad anymore. You know, let him... worry. Let him feel sad and empty and depressed. changed. I mean, you've really changed. Good. That's good. Because the brook that you know has been trampled and humiliated and rejected. Never again. Tom, never again. Mm -hmm.